What happens when the home and space that you've occupied and invested in is not viewed as as valuable as it should possibly be simply because of the color of your skin? Well, that's how one couple describes their experience when getting an appraisal on their home. And they say that it was undervalued simply because they are black. Joining us now are doctors Nathan Connolly and Shani Mott. Thank you both for being here. So let's just walk through the process here. The two of you were looking to refinance your home to take advantage of the low interest rates. And then what happened? Well, we experienced discrimination. Um, we made a pretty straightforward application to get our house at a reduced interest rate from 4.65% to two and a quarter. And we thought we were in pretty good shape to be able to meet the mark. We had made investments in the house that exceeded you know, $30,000. We had seen the market on a steady uptick and we had a baseline amount that was labeled as pretty conservative, both by us and by the loan officer at Loan Depot with whom we worked. And so we were very surprised to learn upon a drive down to Florida we were making as a family that the home did not come in at value. I mean, it's important to know that when we first started this process, we looked at a range of, of loan companies. And one of the things that I really appreciated about Loan Depot was just how communicative they were. And I had lots of questions. You know, I was trying to kind of go by the book and collect at least, you know, four to five estimates and talk with people and see who I vibed with. So then you go and get a second appraisal after, in effect, whitewashing your house. Give us a sense, first of all, what you did to whitewash your house. <laughs> Well, well, we were aware that there were um, examples of whitewashing being effective um, in helping black families get the value that they were entitled to. And so we had to have a, a very careful conversation with our children. Um, we knew that we would have to remove evidence of their presence in our home, evidence of our own presence in the home. Because right from the beginning, it seems that you jumped to the conclusion our house came in with this low appraisal simply because we're black. Well, I don't know if it was that we jumped to that conclusion. I mean, we certainly gave um, the representative from 2020 Valuations, Mr. Shane Lanham, a chance to do his job. I mean, when he we were in the home during the first appraisal, right. we made, you know, light conversation with him. We certainly gave him free run of the place. Um, you know, we, ha again, had some sense that discrimination was a problem, but we didn't expect that it would happen in this particular case. And so when the number came back at 472,000. My jaw dropped. Right. I, I, just, I was like, this is racism. Right. Because we had done the research, right? right? Like, I mean, it's, aside from researching um, to try to figure out what the numbers would be for what we could sell our house for, I would ask a neighbor if they were in the process of refinancing, you know, what did their their homes come in at? And right. so um, we didn't go into this in, into this process, this refinance process blindly. Like we were, uh, yeah, we were educated consumers. We did the whitewashing experiment. And even though we had already given Loan Depot comps that had reflected a value in the mid sixes or even higher, and we had been rejected, we left the whitewashing experiment to kind of be that final bit of evidence that we needed to be made whole. So what did the experiment bear out? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we, we had a we had a white colleague meet the uh, new appraiser at the door. Um, they apparently had some light conversation and um, you know shared some anecdotes. Um, it, it apparently um, was a pretty easy appraisal um, by the, the, the observation of our colleague. It didn't seem to, that there were a whole lot of questions, um, and the appraisal came back. I want to say within the the same week yeah. um, at, at seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Um, which was and your obviously... jaw dropped again. I have to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it was it was just one of those moments where, um, you know, you're kind of like, okay, this is real. Um, you know, you 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 know about the the history, um, but to feel like we're very much part of that historical process of of right. black folk being devalued, of not being able to get um, a fair shake. And, and it also feels as though, frankly, we're at a moment where we need a new movement that is able to operate and be able to kind of distill this particular form of racism and really challenge it. So despite this being your expertise, you still found this very hurtful. Yeah, I think that that's that. I mean, what it's it's so interesting because there's a, a dilemma, right? Like it's there's a continue you live a contradiction. Like there are things that happen in this country where you're like, ah, oh, 
things have progressed significantly um, and you, you never think that somehow you would be the, the victim of discrimination. Like you're like, I play by the rules. I do all that I'm supposed to do. The other thing that made it very challenging was 20 minutes um, after we had gotten the call about our home not reaching value, we had gotten a notification from one of Shani's doctors that she had a mass somewhere on her, around her kidney or her adrenal gland. We didn't know. And so the process of trying to appeal the low valuation was actually simultaneous with us groping around for answers about her health. Let me just say that I did this very resentfully. <laughs> I, I had, I kept thinking, what are we prioritizing? Right, you know, right. are we putting responding to Loan Depot ahead of my, you know, ahead of my health? You know, and so I just, but I was like, this is something we have to do. Right. I'm curious how you explained all this to your children, right? Because there are certain experiences that you all are familiar with from enduring or studying yourselves. But then when you're trying to discuss with a younger generation about this is America, how do you go about doing that? Well, I think it's important to note that the conversation that we have with our children was new in terms of um, this housing sit situation, right. but we make racial literacy a constant in our house. Right. Um, we, we name power, we name blackness, we celebrate blackness. And so um, I think we just talked about it in terms of us making decisions um, to get what we deserve. It, lastly, it, kind of a two-parter and unrelated questions, but uh, Shani, I'd love to follow up on, on your health at this point and at the same time on your household, because what did you ultimately have happen with the appraisal? Well, my health, ah, oh God, it's been a long um, journey. I'm currently starting a trial um, at NIH on rare cancers, because it seems as though the chemo that I was on worked for a bit, and then they put me on immunotherapy, and I just had a serious allergic reaction to it and had to take three months off. And um, now I am, you know, hope hoping that this trial um, does something with the, the, yeah, the cancer, that the adrenal gland cancer that I have because I'm not ready to um, leave this world. There's so much work to be done, and I am definitely ready to um, continue to love on my children, dream on my children, and educate them um, to be a force. Relative to the, the house, um, you know, I mean, one, it, it was important to in some ways get more photos of the family and kind of, you know, reassert our, our place here. Um, it was also, uh, I think, important that we did, in fact, at least get a, a refinance that allowed us to um, bring our mortgage payment down. The market conditions did change. The interest rates uh, went up, so it, it was not the same rate that we initially were supposed to be approved for. Um, we had to change the terms of the loan by virtue of that from uh, a 15-year mortgage to a 30-year mortgage. And so now we'll be you know, expected to pay an additional 15 years of payments on the property. And that means there are a whole host of things that we won't be able to do in terms of investments in, you know, kids' college funds, being able to have equity, you know, accumulate more quickly, um, just freeing up our income, you know, in general. All of that has been lost um, through the actions of, you know, a very small number of people. Well, we thank you so much for sharing your experience that was mouth-dropping to you and eye-opening, perhaps, for, for many others. Uh, Dr. Shani Maud and Nathan Connolly, we, we really appreciate your, your insight tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.